In today's video, we're going to be comparing the black PSP camera compared to the silver PSP camera. And in this video, you'll have a better understanding of which PSP camera is better for you. Greetings, my fellow PSP heads. Today, we are going to be comparing the silver camera and the black camera. Um, I'm here with my boy, JD. What's up, baby? He's going to be my subject for this testing. And uh, yeah, we're going to just see the comparison. Um, I know that the silver camera has the 1.3 megapixel and the black camera has the 0.3 megapixel. So we're here to compare and see if spending $100 on a silver PSP camera is worth it compared to spending $25 on a black PSP camera. So uh, let's do some comparisons and I will see you back soon. Here are two pieces of footage of JD riding around on a skateboard. On the right is the PSP silver camera, and on the left is the PSP black camera. Now, as you can see, the PSP silver camera has a little bit of a higher piece of quality to it. With the camera having 1.3 megapixels, definitely does give an edge over the black camera that has 0.3 megapixels. Now, with these two photos are both on the basic picture mode, um, we have JD here chilling on a swing, and on the right is PSP Silver, and on the left is PSP Black. Now, as you can tell already by these two different photos, the right one looks way better than the left. Uh, the left looks a little bit more pixelated, um, just a little less detail than the right. And the right just looks way more alive than the left. Um, I, in my opinion, I would rather have the right camera than the left. And as you can tell, there's just more color, more detail, and uh, all around better image than the PSP black camera on the left. Now, when it comes to the close-up setting, you got both photos here. Uh, on the right is silver, and on the left is black PSP camera. And with the black PSP camera, it looks a little washed together. It's a little harder to tell what's in focus and what's out of focus here. Um, now with the right, it is so much more easier to tell what's out of focus here. And it looks so much more alive um, than the left. Um, like I said, the, the silver PSP camera was really, really surprising to me on this fact that uh, you can get very very good quality photos like this it, it 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 doesn't look like this photo was taking on it doesn't look like the photo on the right was taken on a psp while the photo on the left definitely does look like it was taken on the psp so just take that into consideration of how powerful the psp is psp is let alone the silver psp so um just take an awe of like the detail and uh, I just think it's super cool that the silver PSP is able to make photos like this while uh, the left PSP camera is quite generic. All right, guys. So that was the comparison between these two PSP cameras. Now, the clear winner here is the silver PSP camera. However, the price point between these two cameras obviously goes to the black PSP camera because it is around 25 bucks while the silver one you get on eBay around $100. So is it worth it? It depends on how badly you need it. Uh, the silver PSP camera has great photos for what it is, and it has a full megapixel over. Um, I, would I would imagine myself filming a sitcom with this thing and taking some vintage photos with the silver camera while the black PSP camera is probably mainly for gameplay. The black PSP is really good for starters. If you want to just take some vintage photography and vintage video, uh, the black PSP is a really good fit. It's very light while the silver PSP has a little bit of a sturdier uh, camera flip. Um, personally, I think the silver PSP is way better than the black one. I'm definitely going to use this black one for a giveaway. But, um, in that regard, I hope you guys have a better understanding of which PSP camera to get. If you're going to start off, if you're unsure on getting a PSP camera in the first place, just get the black one. It's a cheap one, um, and it will suit you in whatever content you want to make. 
And with the silver one, that's just taking the next step forward. If you were in completely serious on doing PSP photography and PSP videography, um, I like I said, each one is pretty good. However, the silver one is just far better in my opinion. The difference is night and day. And uh, no, it, it, it actually surprised me on how good the silver PSP camera was when it came to photos, especially for the macro lens where you can be really, really close up to your subject and uh, you can definitely tell what's blurred out in the background compared to something like the black PSP camera where uh, it was all kind of blurry, distorted. The black PSP camera is not necessarily for pictures and videos it's more for uh game usage for uh like ar technology and stuff like that so uh but uh with the silver psp camera it is definitely more fit for video purposes and photography purposes for your travels and stuff like that so uh i highly recommend you get both to try out but if i had to pick one and you didn't have a tape a tight budget definitely go with the silver but if you had a very tight budget and you couldn't fork enough money over Get the black and I think it would suffice well. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you have tried either camera. I would love to know to see. Um, and also with that being said, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to the PSP network and hit that notification bell so you are notified when I upload my latest PSP content. We have a Discord that is live for the PSP network and I actually upload footage and photos on uh, to a channel with a with a photo gallery and uh, it's called camcorder footage but uh no i upload a bunch of stuff from the psp cameras onto that uh channel so join the discord introduce yourself we talk everything psp and we would absolutely love to have you and with that being said guys i will see you in the next video peace out